In this video, let's talk about another set of properties wherein I have some addition relation and you have to learn these properties by heart but also understand the proof because the proof can come in the form of a question in your question paper. The property says sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 for all x belongs to minus 1 to 1. Now I know that sin and cos have a relation as sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 but the story was long back. This is a new property which you need to understand and know and you need to understand the proof also by heart. Let's see how to prove this property. I write the heading as proof and it is what I have let sin inverse x is equal to theta. That means x is equal to sin theta. Also, I know that my theta should lie between what range? My theta should be something from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. How? Why? Because I know that for sin and cos, the domain is such that it is from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and the range is from minus 1 to 1. You can put anything in between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 in the case of sin and cos and you get the results in the interval minus 1 to 1. Now, if I write the minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 in such a manner, is it incorrect? Less than greater than form? No, it is not incorrect. Now, another thing what I can do is I can replace or substitute theta by minus theta. So, if I have theta as minus theta, what will happen? Pi by 2 will become minus pi by 2 and that will come to the other side. And this minus pi by 2 will become plus pi by 2 and will go to the other side. What is the next thing? I need to add pi by 2. Why am I doing everything will be clear after one or two steps. So, what is my next step? My next step is to add pi by 2. So, it becomes pi by 2 minus theta. Here, pi by 2 minus pi by 2 will be 0. And here pi by 2 plus pi by 2 will be pi. Let's put it in a box. We will be needing it later. Pi by 2 minus theta range is well defined written in front of me 0 to pi. Now the next step is we need to prove the things that we were taking. So if x is equal to sin theta, what else is sin theta equal to in the form of cos? I know sin theta is positive. And cos 90 minus theta is also sin theta because cos 90 minus theta means sin theta and it is in the first quadrant so it is always positive. So I can also write sin theta as cos of 90 degree minus theta. Now taking x and cos 90 minus theta, what do I have? I have cos inverse of x is equal to pi by 2 minus theta. Now, cos inverse of x is equal to pi by 2 minus theta. What was theta equal to? Theta was sin inverse of x. You substitute the value from equation number 1. So, from 1, I have cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 minus sin inverse x. And minus sin inverse x is on the other side. You want to take it to the side of cos inverse x. It becomes plus. So sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2. That is the result. And that is very much important. Why I found out pi by 2 minus theta? Because I wanted to check the pi by 2 minus theta as cos pi by 2 minus theta. 0 to pi is you know the domain of cos theta we already know and here also 0 to pi would be satisfied. So in this video we saw the set of properties wherein the addition is followed and some value is obtained. We did the first one sin inverse x and cos inverse x. In the next video we will be seeing the next proof.